Hello there, my cancer collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, cancers? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, cancers. What's going on, cancers? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Cancer Collective. Now, before I pull this card over, Cancers, uh, I noticed the, you're at the Y, fork in the road type energy. Um, so you could be faced with an option. Uh, which direction to go? What showed up? Okay, 14. Uh, find your star family in this cosmic game of hide and seek. This has been coming up for a lot. Um, that fork in the road. You could be making a decision. Okay, that's kind of like compass energy. Where's that freaking card at? It was at the bottom of the deck. It caught my attention. It caught my attention, Cancers. So let's take a look at it. I want to see what number it is. Lord have mercy, of course. What, is it going to be at the bottom of the damn deck? Come on. Come on. Bear with me, Cancers. There's a reason. There's a reason. What the hell? What the hell is that card? you are number 33 33 and 14 i feel you're at that energy because you notice some colors coming off the end of that that sort of branch you're at the divine y point kind of like you connecting in to all of this it's like you're going to be connected in you're going to be at that sort of fork in the road it looks like the other side has some opportunities some options but this side just seems a little bit more connected to what you need to do okay so 33 and uh 14 could mean something for you cancer i love that you see no matter it looks like no matter which road you take it's going to be good right you see little branches coming off of that but look at that one kind of going up like you're going to be plugging in uh to something really good and positive it's going to bring you happiness and maybe some diversity right you get a little bit more color a little bit more uh, options, maybe, if you like a life where uh, you get some variety. That's interesting, Cancer. I like that. I like that. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Cancer Collective. Cancer, I'm seeing that King of Cups. Justice in the Will of Fortune. Oper this feels like that opportunity, again, with that energy right there. You're going to be getting the chance to really uh, hone in and plug into something that's just going to bring you, like, happiness. It's like, uh, you know, plugging in a, a phone jack or, like, the, the computer, you know, the little computer things that got the little pokes on them and you put them in. Uh, it's going to be very good. It's very positive uh, energy as well. The different colors is just like a, a variety, a variety. Give that sort of connector type energy. I love it. I love it. It feels like no matter what choice you make, you're going to have options and they're going to be good. But one could just be a little bit more fulfilling. You know what I mean? It's like you got two jobs and maybe there's just a slight difference in each. Maybe it's pay or, or something like that. But one job might just be a better fit. And if it's not a job, it could just be an opportunity. It could be a person, place, thing. However, it uh, resonates or factors into your energy, Cancer. But I love that. I love that. I love that. Six of Cups. 
Six of Cups, going back to maybe what you love, maybe going back to your roots. Some of you, this could be going back. Oh, excuse me. Oh, cancers. Oh, I'm sorry. What the fuck? That, it's a draining energy. Um, going back to maybe the original plan, the original thought, the original idea, what you uh, maybe fell in love with to begin with. You know what I mean? Something's draining, though. What's draining? Uh, lovers here, and lovers doesn't have to be a, a, a sexual relationship. This could just be close connections, getting connected to the right energies. Some of you, it's going back to maybe the original plan, the original thought. 7-7. Seven, 7-7. Seven. Seven, seven. And the last card is the 6 of Wands. 7-7-6. Seven, seven, what was that? 14 and 33. 7, 7, 6, 14. 7 plus 7 is 14. Opportunities, options. Six of Cups, the Lovers, and the uh, Six of Wands. So you got six, six, double sixes, double sevens, triple sevens, triple sixes, triple sixes. Now, you know, don't freak the fuck out. Sixes are about harmony and balance, okay? It's not always doom and gloom and the mark of the beast and all that shit, okay? Because these are very positive cards. These are very positive cards. Seven of pentacles. Why is that in reverse? Okay, seven of pentacles in reverse. Four of wands in the upright. With uh, nine of wands... In the upper, I don't know how the hell that seven of pentacles got reversed. Something's a drain on your energy, though. Seven four nine. You know what this feels like? You got away from doing what you originally wanted to do, is what this feels like to me. It's like you got away from the original plan, what your original idea, what your original thought was, uh, whatever area of your life that it factors into work, love, or life. You kind of got away. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like it. You got lazy or complacent. I think you just kind of lost track of it. You know what I mean? And now going back, you're wondering if you can get it back. Can you get it back? This nine of wands energy. If you're questioning. It feels like don't. Six, four, six. Partnerships, going back, rebuilding, starting something new, getting victory. If it's dealing with like work or something that you wanted to study or something that you wanted to do, uh, it feels like go do it. Go do it. Go go be happy. Make that choice. Because it feels like you're at that decision-making time. Maybe you're going to find that fork in the road. You're going to have that fork in the road moment. And which direction are you going to choose? It looks like you're, you're fine no matter which one you take. But one of them could just be a tad bit more fulfilling. And Six of Cups is, is that sort of come back around energy. It's, it's picking up what you left. It's picking up what you stopped working on. It's focusing on what, you know, the original plan was or what your original thought or idea was. This wounded energy. <sighs> Clarify that nine of wands. What is that energy? What is this nine of wands energy? What are you so guarded about? What What is this situation? Is it from whatever you're coming from that you're guarded uh, I don't really feel like it's fear because I think you got options or whatever options you have is good. So, you know, I think you're balanced and focused, but something is holding you back. Knight of Swords, Four of Cups with the Ten of Swords. So there could be some sort of abrupt ending. And maybe for some of you, that's why you're... 
maybe if you started with something and it ended abruptly and now if you try to go back or you think about it that's what kind of makes you step the fuck back from it um I'm not really feeling relationship with this as much as maybe like an opportunity. It feels like an opportunity that you missed. It feels like something that could bring happiness to you, but on a level that is is just, it, it's not like dependent upon somebody else. It's kind of what's going to bring you personal happiness. Although at one point in time, you might have just lost track of it. Or if you tried the... the uh, the opportunity wasn't allowed, wasn't given to you, or it was rescinded in some way, shape, or form. And that's why you might be just a little bit shy moving towards it. I am feeling a drain, though. I'm feeling a drain. Um, okay, we got some energies here. Temperance and this Three of Swords. So go in and do the healing that you need to do. Whatever this Three of Swords is about, um, you got you got to heal. You got to give to yourself. Get grounded. Get yourself. I feel. Get yourself emotionally grounded. This almost feels like a pep talk energy. You know, like you, you got the opportunity or there's something you want to do. There's something you want to try. But you, you're just feeling defeated. You're feeling deflated. Maybe you're like, what the fuck? Right? You got that fork in the road. You got the opportunity. Which road do you choose? Where are you going to go? And you could be in this sort of stagnant energy, right? Where you're not. You're not. You're afraid of the shadows. You're afraid of the dark. You're afraid of this sort of unknown. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? But you got the magician card here. So. This, this really does feel like a, whatever you're dealing with, however it factors in. The outcome that you want, you got to kind of, you have to kind of match that energy. You know what I mean? If you're going through something, kind of do the work on yourself to get out of that energy. Because that it's that sort of hangman energy. You can do the healing and, and operate from a healed space, which is what you're manifesting in. Or you could choose to, to stay in this energy, which is just restrictive. This just holds you back. This just fills you full of fear and doubt, right? Whereas if you do the healing and you, you, you manifest in this energy, you're going to get better results I have to say I'm not feeling like it's a love situation for some of you maybe this is schooling this is work related it feels like something that's just it, it's personal to you it's something that's going to make you feel better it's something that's going to bring you personal joy you know regardless of anyone else around it's like an opportunity that you're going to be able to kind of latch hold of and get connected to. That's going to kind of breathe that 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 life into you. Bring that sort of rainbow type energy, right? Bring bring you the different colors. Uh, can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Yeah, it's, it's like your your crayon, your your box of crayons are going to expand. You're going to get more colors, more options, more opportunities. So if, if you're in that decision, you're, you're at that fork in the road. Be mindful of the energy you manifest in. Sadness, doubt, fear, regret, or move forward from a healed heart space, feeling positive, feeling empowered. 
manifesting energy here with that magician card. It it, it feels like you can have whatever you will, whatever you want. But you gotta focus on the energy. You gotta you gotta put yourself in that energy. You gotta f fake it till you make it. Um, type energy. See, I, I I'm feeling this is your energy. I don't feel like this is cross watcher energy. So if you're in this nine of wands. Which you know, we like to refer to as the wounded warrior, right? You got your guard up. Maybe you're 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 holding back. You're not really doing anything. You're you're looking at your options. I feel like this is that six of a uh, six of cups energy. Something's gonna come back around, and you might have stopped working. You might have stopped giving up hope. You you stopped giving to the situation. But it's going to come back around and be very positive. But it's dependent upon the energy that you're manifesting in. I like that. Go be happy. Go... It's like you're going to get more colors in your crayon box. You're going to have more, more, more just personal happiness. Personal happiness. More color, more life. More, 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 more crayons in your box. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Oh, I love that. I love that. But something is draining you. So, you know, um, do what you can. Do what you can. If it's sleep you need, get the sleep that you need. Drink plenty of water. Um, but you do have a drain. So you got to figure out what's draining your energy and, and kind of solve that and then move forward. Cancer, very, very beautiful, beautiful energy. Good luck.